Today I'm going to rebuild the spare set of half nuts for my Logan 10 inch lathe. When I bought it, it came with a set installed as well as these spares. Uh, but basically all of them were worn down. There's almost no thread left inside of them. You can see just how little material is left on the thread itself. So I've already rebuilt the ones that are in the lathe right now and those seem to be working well. So I'm going to rebuild these as a backup set. And the plan will be to mill out all of the old thread, what's left, and we'll put in basically a sleeve of brass and then thread this on the lathe. Um, and that's how we'll rebuild them. So for right now, we'll head over to the lathe and get started. I've got a mark at about an inch and a quarter because that's about how wide the half nut is. So we're going to turn that first part down to about 900 thousandths and then we'll face the end and start drilling out the hole in the center. Now what we're going to do is drill out uh, the hole for the minor diameter of the lead screw. This is a 3 quarter by 8 pitch lead screw. Um, so the minor diameter we're going for is about 640 thousandths and that will give us just a little bit of clearance on the minor diameter of the lead screw. So we're going to drill it out and get it reasonably close and then bore it. Before I take it out of the lathe, I'm going to put some grooves in it so that when we epoxy it into the half nuts, 
there's some grooves for the epoxy to grab onto. This is probably the hardest part of the job. The quick change gearbox is set to 8 threads per inch, which is the same pitch as the lead screw. The compound is set to 14 and a half degrees, which is half of a standard 29 degree Acme thread. The boring bar has a piece of high speed steel in it. 
that's been ground to fit perfectly into the thread of our lead screw. Uh, and I recommend using a spot farther down towards the tailstock as it'll be less worn so you'll be able to get a more accurate comparison. So we're going to go in and touch off on the inside diameter, uh, zero out the cross side, and then start threading. I got the carriage moved down uh, just out of frame right here to support the lead screw so it's not hanging. So here's our new sleeve for the half nuts. Threads on really nice. Very little play. So that'll work perfect. So I will put this back together and pull this guy off and go back to the workbench. So I'll give you a little bit of a close up on the threads. They turned out really well. The fit was really good. Obviously I need to clean them out a little bit, but overall really happy with those. So the next step will be to bring these and set them up at the mill. Uh, they'll set up vertically like this. And when they're engaged on the lathe, they're not fully together like that. Obviously that doesn't look like a circle. They're about an eighth of an inch apart. So I just got little spacers out of eighth inch aluminum that when we clamp them in the mill, we'll make sure to put these in the middle and uh, space it out so our hole is round like it should be. So then we'll bore this out and uh, then we'll be set to epoxy this inside of there. Be sure to watch part two where we finish up the half nuts and test them out on the lathe. Thanks for watching.